guys oh my god i am definitely awake too early in the morning for this but i have a nail appointment and the nail lady she does house calls and my nails are like yeah my nails are going through it it needed to happen 7 30 was the best she could do otherwise it's going to be late in the afternoon so i just took it um so i'm going to do that i'm going to start doing my nails now and then i don't know if i'll have time to go to the gym because i have i'm i'm going to be on someone's podcast i'm going to do uh, this podcast uh podcast uh later today i'll tell you guys more about it later or when we're there i'll probably record as well we'll try to get some snippets out of it i think it's called the investment candle the investment candle podcast um yeah but i'll tell you guys all about it later um yeah anyway so my cup of coffee and about to start to do my nails it's a beautiful day. I'll show you guys now. Like the sky is blue. Although some clouds are forming, everything is a bit chilly. And the boys with the horses are on it. Okay. I'll show you guys. I'll try to show you guys. But I'm gonna have to start doing my nails any moment now. She's came through the gate, so she's um she's walking in. Anyway, see you guys later. parking parking lot just to uh just to come and say that um i'm on the way to do the podcast let's see if this works i'm on the way to do the podcast um with it's called the investment candle podcast on youtube i'll probably link it down below uh the, one of the guys that does it is someone I went to varsity with, uh, Chifua. Um, yeah, so I guess we'll see. I'm not really sure what to expect. They want to talk about investments. And I think the whole the whole idea is um, um, sort of making investing mainstream and introducing you to people who otherwise wouldn't uh, know too much about it. So I thought that's cool. Uh, yeah, it's probably going to just be a conversation. We're going to sit and chat. Um, so I'm leaving home now when it started, started one, so I'll quarter past 12 now. Oh, and I did my nails. Um, yeah, I think, I thought these are pretty. It's like orange, um, with some, orange with some little, um, what do you call it? French, orange French vibes. Anyway, um, yeah, so that's what's going on. And, um, yeah, I'm going to go and then I'll see afterwards if I, yeah, because it's in town. So maybe I go to the waterfront just to see what's what. But it is month end weekend, so maybe not. Maybe I just come right back home. <sighs> Hi, guys. <laughs> Why is it getting in there? Like, this week is just going from bad to worse. Like... Every way, every way, you know what I mean? Everything I touch falls apart. That's what's going on this week. That is what is happening. But you know what? Yeah, man, like the show must go on and we can't, um, we can't be, we can't stay down too long. You just have to, uh, keep it moving. So anyway, it's Sunday today. Yesterday I did go. Uh, on the podcast um investment candle podcast and yeah it was pretty cool it was a very relaxed conversation it wasn't i thought it would be like just so so technical and it would feel like work a little bit but it didn't it was just a very uh, yeah good conversation um i think it's pretty cool what the guys are doing just in terms of having you know those type of investment um 
conversations and making them mainstream um, and introducing people, I guess, to investments that they ordinarily wouldn't wouldn't be exposed to or wouldn't have the the information or, or whatever the case may be. So I thought that was pretty cool. I enjoyed it. And then afterwards, I just came home and relaxed for the rest of the afternoon because I was up pretty early doing my nails. I did show you guys yesterday. Um, yeah. And then I got back home and took a nap. And later on, I watched a movie. Um, what's this movie? A Soweto Love Story or something like that. It was pretty cool. I did enjoy it. So... That's what I did this morning went to the gym and now I'm at home and I'm just about to start preparing food preparing lunch um, a little bit of a Sunday lunch light I would say I've got spinach I've got coleslaw which is already chopped up from from the shop I've got pumpkin I'll make chakalaka um, some chicken and rice I'm gonna make a uh, or maybe not rice yeah actually you probably don't need all the carbs um i'm also yeah probably don't need all the carbs so maybe i'll skip on the rice or i'll make that cauliflower rice instead but i might not need to because already i've got enough vegetables <laughs>
guys I just finished cooking as you could have seen um here's my plate I skipped the rice so I've got spinach uh, pumpkin cosno chicken chagalaka and beetroot definitely skipped the rice and I think I've got a lot going on the my chagala my spinach cream is too runny anyway whatever it takes tastes um Tastes decent. Um. Anyway, yeah. So, I finished cooking. The time now is five p.m. Sunday. Oh, tired, child. Tired. I'm glad I cooked though. Um, and this should last me for a couple of days during the week. That's always great. So now I'm just gonna. Eat quickly and then clean up a bit the kitchen, um, and then I'm just going to relax for the, for the evening. What do you guys watch on Sundays? What do, like what do you guys watch on Sundays? Like what is the, you know what Mzanzi Magic Mojalav, Mzanzi Magic Mojalav, excuse the door. What do you guys watch on Sunday? Please comment down below because I don't know what what happens on Sunday on television. Comment down below. What's popping? What's popping? Good morning, YouTube family. Monday morning and I'm going for a walk actually I'm going to the Vida um, close by my house just to get a cup of coffee and also just to be outside get some fresh air before the work day starts it's quarter to seven now or quarter to eight work starts at half past eight so I should be back in time What's up y'all what's up it's lunchtime uh now i just um let's do this it's lunchtime now i was just out uh quickly to buy a new light fixture i want to do new light fixtures for the dining area eventually i also want to do for the living room and or the couches area and also at the kitchen when we put in the new kitchen but i'm just going to start with the um yeah, with the dining room. I'm going to show you currently what uh, the current light situation is. And then afterwards, um, after the guy has done, so I've got an, an electrician coming in to fit it in. And then I'll show you what it looks like then. So, yeah. So this is what we current. Well, I've actually, I've started to, I thought I could do it myself. And then I realized that I couldn't. So this is, um... Yeah, this is what currently sits there. Um, and let me actually show you what it actually used to look like. Because it's, it's, it's identical. It used to look like this. Like, it's just, yeah, it's, yeah, it was rusted. And this, the, the previous owner here painted over it. So, like, yeah, it's a disaster. Um, so that's what used to sit there. What is gonna be there is this. So initially I thought I wanted uh, it to be black, like the, the gold to be black, but I just think the gold just, yeah, gives it a little bit of possess. So I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna keep that and that's fine. Um, yeah, so I'll show you, let's do this. I will show you, uh, I'll show you guys what it looks like after it's done. Guys, in the spirit of full disclosure, ne, I was, I was uh, tempted to just say, oh, you know what, um, th this thing is not done yet. I'll just show you guys tomorrow when it's done, when the guys come back and finish what needs to be done. But I was like, you know what, I, 
I just want to, yeah, full disclosure, because one thing about like home renovation or home improvement, it's never as seamless as it seems. Like there's a lot of, yeah, like bumps in the road, unforeseen things. So this is where we are. Let me try to zoom in. When they took out the old light fixture that looks like that, right? I'm going to try to zoom in. That looks like this. We established that that silver thing that you see, I'm actually going to go closer. This metallic, uh, this metallic thing actually goes into the ceiling. So there's a huge hole in the ceiling. I just thought this thing was fixed onto the ceiling. No, no, no. It's in the ceiling. There's a hole in the ceiling. Okay. And this is what we see here. This is that hole in the ceiling. So today they think, I mean, we, well, I know, I realized this today that it's not, yeah, it's not that simple. But the guys say, no, it's not a big issue. They, they can, they know how to fix this. They're going to get some board uh, and put it on the inside or yeah, get a, some board, um, put it there use like a sealer or something, sand, and then um, paint over it. They think it's not a big deal and that it can be fixed. So I guess we'll, t we'll see tomorrow when they come. Um, yeah. Otherwise, I think, and also, the people at Builder's Warehouse, my God. You know, when like salespeople don't know what they're doing and or they don't care. So I bought this light fixture and it comes with like globes that fit over the bulbs obviously these bowl bulbs bulbs these bulbs these light bulbs that are on here are too big for the globes that fit over over them okay. these globes that fit over the light bulbs the ones that the lady sold to me at builders warehouse are too big for this and so these need to go back. I'm going to take these off now, um, put them back in the little packages and return them to Bullens Warehouse to get smaller bulbs because, I mean, what am I supposed to do? And the fact that she saw me buy this light fixture and still sold me these, like, did, did she not, like, do you not know your product, you know, that you are selling? And she's the lighting expert in the store. So that's very disappointing. Otherwise, I think, okay. If we stand back and ignore the, ignore the, you know, ignore the hole in the wall, <laughs> ignore the hole in the ceiling, I think it's pretty cute. I really like it. And so I did get the, uh, the correct bulbs, I hope. And I'm going to put them on now. Make sure the light switch is off. So this is the size. And where's that? Yeah, I'm sure it'll fit. Let me just make sure I don't break the box and so that it, it needs to return to the shop. I can return it.
we go. That looks very good. Yep. Yep, I think it suits the space. It definitely suits the space. What a deezer, what a disaster. I'm on my way to a birthday party, not even a birthday party, a birthday in Stellenbosch and there's so much traffic on the N1. I think this is the N1. Already I left late at home. I left like 15 minutes late. Now it's even worse. Like things have just gone from bad to worse anyway, so. Because we're driving slow, I've just put my phone into this holder just to chat a little bit. Um, so today's Saturday, this morning uh, we did breakfast and then I quickly came home to get ready. I was just saying like, I did my makeup in 30 minutes and it shows. Like, I don't know why I keep thinking that I can do this when like clearly I can't. <laughs> like I really, in my mind, like, th like I can do my makeup in 30 minutes. Obviously I can't. On the way, it says I'm gonna get there at half past one. Now it's like quarter two. I hate, hate being late, but you know what? Like it's unforeseen and yeah. Even if I left on time, I would have been late because of this. I think there's like something going on, either road works or an accident. But yeah, guys, anyway. Um, oh, and I'm wearing my orange dress again because the other day I couldn't wear it, child, because you know, um, uh, yeah, the weather was not on my side, but today the sun is out, it's shining, sky is blue. In so, 400 meters, take the exit on the left. Canete, you think so? Google Maps has been trying to get me to, you know, off ramp, 
but I've, I've been reluctant because it feels like it's gonna open up you know I think I'm just gonna keep going straight because also like take the exit on the nah, left I'm not gonna take the exit on the left like I also saw an article online on some this I think it was an American man in 600 was, meters turn right it was an American man it's actually flowing now so I don't yeah I don't think I'm gonna do that it was an American man he was um, in Cape Town hired a car Google Maps led him you know it was one of these situations I can imagine where traffic was heavy on the normal route and Google Maps led him to the townships as like you know a off uh, you know a quicker route and he drove past like one of the townships I don't know which and he got like he got hijacked and stuff like that so like one of the roads Google Maps was trying to lead me was one of the routes that Google Maps was trying to lead me through was going through Mitchell's Plain or past Mitchell's Plain and I'm just not trying to drive through it, the townships especially Kiliwani you know it's just and a, a woman by yourself is just dangerous so yeah like I'll, I'll be late it's fine rather safe than sorry I guess one of those situations but now we're flowing um yeah so it doesn't seem that bad but yeah anyway guys let me go let me drive and hopefully this yeah I can get to my destination I'll catch up with you guys when I arrive there Shall guys i just got back Ooh, what is this? just got back from la okay. what's up guys just got back from lunch uh celebrating one of my friend's birthday 30th birthday the birthday was back in feb but um we did uh, yeah i guess it's just been a busy period so we only celebrated the lunch now 
Uh, but it's always so, so nice to hang out with the girls, honestly. Yeah, like I always, I always, um, just come back feeling so good. Yeah, so yeah, anyway, so that was nice. It's so hot, like the sun is so bright, and my eyes are honestly so sensitive to the sun. So they're a little bit painful right now, and I think also like wearing makeup, like, um, the eye, what? The mascara and stuff just does not, um, yeah, does not make it better. So, first thing I do when I get home is take off the makeup. The lighting keeps going on and off, but anyway, first thing I do is take off the makeup so I can just be, yeah, just have peace. We are going, what? We're going bowling uh, this evening. You know if we'll leave now or leave later. Um, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. Like, I really should just wash my face. But I'm so lazy. I, I'll wash my face when I shower tonight. I. Uh, much better oh my god <laughs> much better child mm -mm. makeup we like we just right we draw first i'm just gonna use a bit of toner i know i shouldn't like without washing my face but uh, and then i'm gonna use uh some moisturizer this is the moisturizer that i use uh the seeds are full. It's so good. It's so good. It's so good. But yeah, it costs like 5 million rand. So there's that. Anyway, this camera is done. So that's it for now. Um, yeah, let's go bowling. Okay, I've got literally a minute left on the camera. This is the outfit for the evening to go bowling just a pair of white shorts this pretty blouse that i got from h&m these sandals that i got from woolworths years ago and this steve madden bag um, i decided to stick with the red lipstick i think it looks cute okay my camera's crying <laughs> cheers see you guys later video let's do this thank you so much for watching if you've reached this part of the video um and don't forget to subscribe we're on the way to a thousand subscribers i think we're on 900 um today so please let's reach a thousand before uh the next video before next week the end of the week i'd really appreciate it um and um you would have seen in the earlier clip um i was at yde shopping for a dress so i've been invited to attend the raging bull awards which is sort of industry awards for um industry awards for the asset management industry 
um and it's happening tomorrow which is monday today is sunday i still don't have a dress i still don't know what i'm gonna do with my hair and it's a like an evening you know black tie sort of event so yeah people generally get very dressed up um so i'm gonna go back to ide today try on a couple more dresses go to forever new just shop around the mall because i don't have any i can't do online i can't like it's tomorrow um so that's what i'll be doing today and i guess that part of the content you will see in the next vlog which i'll probably start after dropping this one which is today on sunday so that's what's up yeah i again just wanted to say thank you guys for all the support um everybody who's subscribed commented and who's loving the content i've been enjoying the process so far um so thank you for uh being a part of this youtube family and before i forget i want to film a get to know me video so drop questions below or things that i should talk about otherwise I'll, I'm, I'll like i'm probably gonna film it anyway and i'll just like answer like a random um questions yeah based off of um you know what what people generally talk about when they get to know me video so drop questions below or i'll just tell you what what i think you want to know about me um and what else did i want to say there's something else i wanted to say Oh yes, then I wanted to know. I remember when I first did my first video and I was just talking about a little bit of my background. People, I guess some people connected because of my profession, the CA thing, a corporate girl. So let me know in the comments down below if you guys would be interested in that type of content, sort of talking about career, studying, what you know this industry has been like or yeah, let me know if you guys would be interested in that type of content. I, I, I don't know if... if if that's the vibe but i'd be happy to sort of chat about my experience and yeah how i guess i got here um so yeah thanks for watching and i'll see you next time ciao <laughs>